In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You came to call the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin de Porres by the path of humility to heavenly glory, Grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ, I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I can wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are children of Israel. Theirs the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise Praise the the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinance to Israel. He has done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Hallelujah. Praise Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. On the Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people were there observing him carefully. In front of him was a man suffering from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and Pharisees in reply, asking, Is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath or not? But they kept silent. So he took the man and, after he healed them, dismissed him. Then he said to them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into a cistern, would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? But they were unable to answer his question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. When I was in the seminary, I studied in Baltimore, Maryland at St. Mary's Seminary and University. And oftentimes when you were driving throughout town, there were homeless people on the road or in the medians often asking for money or food. And after a while, if I'm being honest with myself, Sometimes it became a burden, constantly pulling to red lights where people were knocking on your window, asking for handouts. And I remember one afternoon, it was a Sunday, I was assigned to a parish and I was driving back to the seminary. It was a cold day in the beginning of winter and it was flurrying. I pulled up to a red light and there was a woman in the median kind of just pacing And of course, in my mind, I thought, is this woman going to knock on my window? Is she going to be looking for a handout? 
And she rolled down, or she knocked on my window first, and I rolled it down. The light was still red. And she simply said, thank you for your calling. She saw my caller, wasn't looking for money or food or a handout. She just simply knocked on the window and said, thank you for your calling. That experience simply humbled me. I remember driving back to the seminary really feeling terrible. I automatically assumed that she was homeless and looking for money or food or something like that. And when she knocked on the window, of course, in my mind, there was probably some aggravation, just another homeless person looking for something. And I remember driving back to the seminary and really thinking to myself, how quick are we often to judge others? In today's gospel, this man suffering from dropsy was clearly used as a prop. The Pharisees weren't interested in his true well-being, but used his illness as a way to trap Jesus. Our gospel today really calls us to understand what it truly means to have dignity and respect for others. Jesus tests the Pharisees, but he heals this man. And it brings to mind for us that all people, rich and poor, sick or healthy, any walk of life we find ourselves, we're all created in, in, in God's image and likeness. Therefore, we're all called to have respect and humility for others, to see each one of us as we truly are, with dignity. That same love that God has for each of us becomes a responsibility of ours to love others in return. Today, the church celebrates the feast of St. Martin de Porres, a poor servant from Peru who lived his life catering to the poor and homeless, an example for us to really take time for ourselves to find those most in need in our society, to care for them, to pray for them, and to offer what we have, whether it's money or our gifts or talents or whatever it may be, to serve those most in need recognizing that we're all called to that same great love that God has for each one of us. Let us stand now and offer our prayers to God, the Almighty Father. We pray for all those who lead the church, that after the example of St. Martin de Porres, we may be called to serve those most in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the sick and suffering, all those who are homeless or in need of food or clothing or shelter, that God may provide for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the conflict in the Middle East, especially Israel, that they may come to resolution and all parties may seek peace and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those in the military, abroad or at sea, that God may protect them, give them strength, and the loving arm of our Lord may always give them that peace that he is there to love them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves, that we too may lead with humility, treating everyone with dignity and respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have died. May they come to eternal life in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we gather here with humble hearts and we ask that you hear and answer these prayers if they be in accord with your most holy will. For we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. forever. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the praise and, and glory, glory of his name, name for, for our good and the good, good of God's, God's holy church. church. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in Blessed Martin de Porres the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries might be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Joanne Pisano, Samuel Maranca, and Peter Savoia, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, us not into, into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory, glory are yours now, now and, forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sin, sin of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of Blessed Martin de Porres, and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.